Okay, so in the last video we worked through the differential equation dy on dx equals ky and we found the general solution to be y of the function x equals a by e to the kx. Alright, so the point is not to write learn this general solution. Uh, in maths we're trying to learn how to think, not what to think. But firstly, we can satisfy ourselves that this is a solution to the differential equation because if we take the derivative, the constant a remains, the derivative of e to the kx is e to the kx by k, so then the derivative or dy on dx is equal to, if I put this k in front, equals k, and this part here a by e to the kx is still equal to y. So we see that y equals a to the, sorry, y equals a by e to the kx is indeed a solution to this differential equation. And as you can see by the form of this equation, y equals e to the, y equals a by e to the kx, I keep getting that mixed up, but y equals a by e to the kx, the form of this equation lends itself to modelling exponential growth. Okay, now in nature exponential growth indefinitely is not possible because it's simply not sustainable, but under certain environments and certain time frames we can definitely use this equation to model or approximate exponentially growing phenomena. So I have a couple of graphs here to demonstrate how this class of solutions work. Uh, on the left hand graph we have graphs where we keep the growth factor k constant. So we choose k equals 1. So we have y equals a by e to the x. And the curves represent different values of a. So this orange curve here is when a equals 1. This light magenta curve here is when a equals a half. The cyan curve is when a equals 2 and the blue curve is when a equals 3. On the right hand side here we keep a as a constant, a equals 1 and we choose different values of k so the equation is y equals e to the kx so again the blue line, sorry the orange line, the orange curve is when k equals 1 the cyan curve is when k equals a half the light magenta curve is when k equals one quarter and the blue curve is when k equals two. So you can see that the growth factor k has a much more profound influence on the shape of the curve than our coefficient a. And that sort of makes sense because a is the amount or the quantity that we begin with and k is k pretty much represents how quickly we grow. Okay, so the rate of growth has a much bigger impact on the quantity over time. Now A is determined by the initial conditions. I C's for initial conditions. And that's the quantity given when X equals zero. And K is determined by a given quantity at a certain time. Or a certain X value, so I've marked that as X sub C. So this is the two bits of information we need to determine the values of a and k to form a explicit solution from the general solution of y equals a to the kx, y equals e to the kx. I still can't get that right. Now these curves are all showing positive growth because that's generally the way things are modelled with this equation, but uh, I guess it's possible also to have a curve that looks like this where the coefficient a is a negative number and I guess you could use that to model your mood as time approaches a crucial end of semester exam and you're going into an exponential depressionary spiral well let's hope we can change that to an upward curve with these tutorials so let's do another example bacteria grow by division of cells so the growth of a colony is proportional to the number present in a deep wound there are initially 20 anaerobic clostridium bacteria present. After two hours the number has grown to 90. Use a differential equation to determine the number present after time t. When the number reaches a thousand, 
the patient begins to develop symptoms of nerve poisoning from the toxins produced by the bacteria. How long does this take? Well, first of all, this sounds quite nasty, so I guess it's a warning not to cut yourself. But let's do the first part, which is to use a differential equation to represent how many there are at time t. So if we let n, capital N, equal number present, at time t, so n is a function of t, the rate of growth or the rate of change of n, dn dt, is proportional to the number present. So it's proportion to what's already there and we can write this relationship as dn dt equals some growth factor times n. Alright, so we can separate this now, dn on n equals k dt, integrate both sides, and we end up with the natural log of n equals kt plus an integration constant. And as we worked out in the last video, once we go through all the rigmarole, we end up with n equals the coefficient a times e to the kt. So this is the general solution. And as I've said, A is determined by the initial conditions. And there are initially 20 present. So N of 0, which equals A, is equal to 20. So we have the coefficient A equals 20. Next we need to find the growth factor K. So we're given that after 2 hours, the number has grown to 90. So let's write this as N of 2 which equals 20 by e to the k2 equals 90. So to rearrange for k, we have e to the 2k equals 90 over 20, okay, which equals 9 over 2. And then taking the natural log of both sides, we end up with 2k equals about 1.5, which means then k equals about 0.75. Okay, so the explicit solution is n equals 20 by e to the 0.75t, where t is in hours. So part two of the question is, how long till the quantity of bacteria reaches 1000? Okay, so we can set this up as 1000 equals 20 by e to the 0.75t. Rearranging we get e to the 0.75t equals 1000 over 20 which equals 100 over 2 which equals 50. Again we take the log of both sides, the natural log of both sides, which means that 0.75t is equal to about 3.91 and finally, dividing both sides by 0 0.75, we get t equals about 5.2 hours, or about 5 hours and 12 minutes. So we better get that wound cleaned with antiseptic pretty quickly. Alright, if this video has been helpful, please give me a like, and please subscribe for upcoming videos that will help you with your studies. I'd appreciate any small tip that you might be able to give, and the details of how to do that will be in the description. If you have any questions, please use the comment section below. And until next time, best of luck with your studies.